What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a proper working carousel for your website or online store using the Webflow Site Builder online from scratch. So without further ado, let's have right in. So to actually do this is quite simple and this actually requires no special tools or any um, plugins or uh, link embeds to actually make it work. Like um, for example, um, using Elf site to create a widget to add to um, your workspace or your online store, website, blog site, whatever, as the function is already built into uh, the site builder for Webflow. So the idea is you guys would first want to log into your account on Webflow, like I have here, and then you'd want to select the site that you would want to edit or add a carousel to. So I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to open the site for uh, Core Dynamics, I'm going to click on open designer and this is actually going to pull up the site builder for our website. So we're going to wait for it to load real quick. And the thing about this is when you guys go to add a new container with a uh, fixed element to, um, so it actually isn't called carousel. So if you go to elements or layouts right here and type down carousel, you'll see that nothing pops up. However, um, the element that we're looking for here is called the slider. So it's this one right here. Now, the idea is when we go to add a new container to our website, so let's say that we want to showcase some of our products on our store um, using the slider um, widget. So we simply need to drag it along the container. So let's do this one. Actually, this is where I actually put the video, but we can just ignore that. So uh, you can see that now I have a um, slider. So the idea here is we would import an image onto the slider. So it could be a product or whatever you guys want. So it's totally up to you, but that's pretty cool. You can add um, a couple of settings to it and interactions on when people hover over the item, they'll see the price for it as well as the deals that it can get or the color variations and so on and so forth. And that's honestly all there is to it. So just to recap, just go for the um, element that's called slider and this is actually the carousel. So yeah, that's a video. So hopefully it helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know that in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So be sure to show your support that. So yeah, thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.